Hi, this is Imad Bibawi. I lead the U.S.-France corridor, and I guess the three things we'd want our clients to recognize is there's a lot of activity between the U.S. and France. Tax reform is just one of those, but I think the, the GDP and collaboration between France and the U.S. goes well beyond tax. I'm with uh, KPMG's Washington National Tax. I do mergers and acquisitions, M&A, mm -hmm. and there has been a huge change in the landscape with uh, US tax reform that uh, will really uh, impel uh, French inbound uh, multinationals to reorganize their US operations. First is that the scope of the base erosion and anti abuse tax is broader than many people may realize. It covers a very wide variety of payments outbound. And so companies looking to uh, address them might need to really be conscious of the payments they're making to related parties, even ones that they wouldn't think eroded the tax base. Uh, but, with, um, but there are um, substantial planning opportunities available to help people manage their base erosion and anti abuse tax. So being prepared is really important. Tax for Societe Generale in the Americas, and we're here to talk about the base erosion tax and the implication on multinationals. It's a very punitive tax, it has a lot of adverse implications. Companies need to carefully look at their own figures and details to see the implications of it. It requires a significant effort and the acknowledgement of management to help get the information because sometimes to get the information to do this calculation is very challenging. So you need the support of senior management and it's something that we're going to have to live with on an annual basis.